Ski Planet is presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France. Tele Turemas, welcome for this new episode of Ski Planet by Warlopet. Today I am in Estonia and what a pleasure for me to be back in this beautiful country. Here we are in Tartu, the second biggest but also the oldest city of the country. During our trip, I will propose you to discover the city in a typical way, punctuated by encounters in the different districts which are the DNA of Tartu. After a little detour beyond Estonian borders to discover another race of the Warlopet family, we will go together to take the fresh air or maybe the fresh water in the Estonian countryside. Don't forget the purpose of our visit, discover the Tartu Marathon. This organization is not focused only on skiing, they also propose several sports events during the whole year. Get ready, I take you with me. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Hello, okay. Raymond. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, yes. You had a good uh, ride this morning with your bike? Yeah, it's my city bike here, so... Uh, City bikes are really popular now in that, here in Tartu. Can you talk to me about the city? Yeah, Tartu is a really lovely city with a great living environment. So uh, we are really happy that people are choosing Tartu because of the living environment. And uh, we believe that uh, healthy people are happy people. So we are trying to keep the city environment also supporting the healthy lifestyle okay. and, and the active lifestyle. So. Uh, mm -hmm. This bike sharing system is uh, one of those examples of what we are doing here. But of course, uh, we are trying to develop the infrastructure mm -hmm. to have it, uh, let's say, um, in the best possible way for people, for jogging, for uh, mm -hmm. cycling, roller skating, whatever different activities. I was wondering why Tartu is different than other cities in Estonia. Because of the attitude of, uh, of people. And uh, we believe that we are a university city. We have a lot of brain power in the city. We also have, uh, let's say, a very compact city and compact not just in terms of uh, territory, but also in case of uh, human relations. So basically, Tartu is almost 100,000 people. It's a great city to be. Okay. We can see the sign of uh, Tartu 2024. Yeah. Uh, you will be the cultural uh, capital. Uh, why it's so important for the city and what it means? Yeah, it means a lot for the city. It has been a long, uh, let's say, long challenge for us. And uh, this year in August, Tartu was awarded uh, to be the European Capital of Culture in 2024. And, and also to be here, not only in 2024, but earlier uh, yeah, to, to visit yeah. our, our so lovely you're, city. So you're planning the future yeah. Yeah, sure, for children. Sure. For, uh, this is really interesting. Can you choose three words to describe Tartu? Yeah, uh, Tartu is a youth city. Tartu is a friendly city and Tartu is academic city. Guys, how are you coming with me for a city visit on my bike? I started by discovering the Zupilin district, which is the most historical one of Tartu. Then it's time to go to the Karlova district to learn more about this Bohemian part of the city. Hello! Ciao! So, Simone, this is your bar? Yes, it is. And we are in the middle of the Karlova district, yes. that's right. Yes. Okay, can you tell me what is the Karlova district? Karlova is the, uh, well, for me, and uh, I think that many people in Tartu will, un will, will agree with me, is the most artistic uh, bohem part of, uh, of the city. It is, uh, it is like this because, first of all, we have the art school, the art academy which is uh, right here next to, on the other side of the street. And uh, this means that a lot of people, a lot of young artists, a lot, lot of students are living in the same neighborhood. And uh, you can also see on uh, some, some, some corners of the streets some uh, street art, which makes the environment very, very cozy and cool. After 10 years um, here in Tartu, what is your feeling about Estonian people and Estonian culture? Uh, look, people tend to say uh, that Estonians are uh, very cold people, 
uh, and it, that it's not very easy to get in, to, to establish a friendship with them. Uh, it is true that it takes maybe a bit longer to 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 build a friendship, but when you do that, it's it's a friendship you can really count on. It's a true one. It's not a superficial mm -hmm. one. About the culture, Estonia is a country that gives a lot of importance to art, uh, culture in general. Can you describe Tartu in three words? <laughs> cozy, uh, cozy for sure. Um, friendly and, uh, and easy to live. After this nice meeting with Simone, I'm on my way to Aparaditeas, one of the most popular places to meet in Karlova. What is this place? Shortly, it's a culture factory yeah. now, but uh, years ago, like uh, almost 100 years ago, it started as a kind of uh, industrial area or industrial uh, building. And when Soviet time ended, like in, at the end of the 80s, then uh, it was kind of uh, empty and tall place here. <laughs> and uh, from uh, 2006, we bought it and we started to renovate for a culture factory from 2014. Okay, so cool. The so spirit is incredible. At the moment we have like uh, galleries, we have restaurants, we have like a lot of uh, spaces for startups, we have like uh, artist studios, we even have one light club, we have performance spaces, uh, we have this yard where we do mm -hmm. different kind of events and so on and so on. So we just ask, we even have apartments for sleeping here. So, the fact that Tartu is going to be the cultural capital in 2024, it's uh, really important for you? Yes, of course, because uh, one of the main events in 2024 is uh, our pro production. And uh, actually we took part very uh, intensively uh, before we got the title. Can you describe Tartu in three words? It's uh, creative, comfortable and cool. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> My visit is finished. It's time for you to discover the legendary Matcha Longa. Since 1971 in Trentino, the last Sunday of January means Matcha Longa. Over 9,000 participants from 37 nations, nine events for all tastes, 1,500 volunteers, 65,000 fans along the 70 kilometers of the track, and the Dolomites as a scenario. If you love cross-country skiing, Marcha Longa is home. And this is the place to be on the last Sunday of January.
After the city visit, I wanted to discover the countryside of Estonia. I asked the Tartu Marathon team for a typical experience and I am ready for it. I hope you too. Hello, Marika, nice to meet you. What is it? conditions. Hard life in Estonia. Captain, yes. Can you tell me where are we? We are in Estonia, in a river called Riisa, and this area is called Soma, but you can tra translate as swampy land or bogland. Okay. And um, I heard that here there is five seasons. Yeah, can you tell it's me what? Uh, normal four seasons plus in a springtime. In cases we have in winter time uh, quite heavy snow then it will be melt and all these rivers will fill with water in very short time and the water will rise about two and a half or three meters. Then all forest and, and all these fields will be underwater and you can have a trip with canoe inside the forest. For real? Yes. Wow. And do you think I am a good rider? Or? Yeah, of course. Oh, cool. Okay, <laughs> so I can come back and help you on your canoe trip? Yes. <laughs> good. Thank you very much. Guys, did I tell you that Tartu Marathon is not only a skiing experience? I let you discover why and I met you on the water in a few moments. Cross-country skiing may be key, but the Tartu Marathon spirit goes well beyond the ski tracks. It's all about community, nature, and coming together through sports year-round. Whether it be on skis, running, inline skating, cycling, or mountain biking, Tartu Marathon offers six events on tracks of different lengths, including children's events, making it easy for everyone to take part in the fun. Best white burger I ever eat. Guys, it's the end of this episode of Ski Planet by World Lopet. I hope you enjoyed it. One more time I fell in love with Estonia. I will stay a few more days to enjoy the Estonian lifestyle. See you for the next episode. Ski Planet was presented to you by Montaigne de Jura the official Nordic destination in France.